it's actually kind of a beautiful day out it's about like 35 40 degrees or so so it's a little chilly but it's supposed to be in the mid to high 70s today um it's saturday i have a day off from the gym i might go down to klamath i'm not sure exactly what the plan is yet but i'm chilling and we'll see where the day takes us <laughs> I want to get my hair cut because I'm shaggy. Here, Guys, this one, okay, we'll do this. We're uh, we're getting cleaned up here. So this is Noah. Say what's up, Noah. What up? So we're doing a we're gonna do like a little mohawk babe, and he's a pro. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it work out, and he's gonna make me look all all pretty. Clean clean i'm just doing like a little mohawk fade so he balds the sides and fades it up and then kind of leaves the length on the back a little bit cleaned up the line up here and then uh lined up the beard just a little bit right up here it looks fresh there's nothing better than getting a haircut and feeling clean I made it. I made it. It was a nice drive. It was a nice drive, and it's a little colder, but ain't no thing. See, it was home. Hello? I'm just kidding. My parents are in Seattle, so they'll be back tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll be able to catch them. And I just came down to hang out, but right now I'm going to the homie Brendan's house because he actually got a house and I'm going to check it out. He's painting and doing adulting stuff. And so I'm going to go sit and watch him and not do any work. Look at this. Do you not want this in the video? Dude, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. This is a well-furnished house. <laughs> Congratulations, homie. This is, uh, you got a lot of work ahead of you, but I like it. It looks good. Good freaking afternoon. It is a beautiful day out here. Hey. It is a beautiful day out here. Hi, guys, look at this. These beautiful skies. It's about probably like 60 degrees. And there's a little ch like chilly breeze. It's super nice, but uh, I didn't record last night after uh, I went to the homie's house. <clears throat> we went to dinner and had a couple drinks and then hung out, went to the bar, grabbed a couple more drinks and whatnot. So got up this morning, had breakfast, worked a little bit. And now we're here. I'm leaving today here in a little bit. Just came down to hang out and chill and relax. And honestly, it feels great. So I'm going to go grab some coffee and uh, see what the day holds. How you feeling? Super duper. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, so I'm getting ready to leave here in a little bit. But I'm getting to get some food because your boy's hungry. And my mom left me some, uh, left me some food that I just warmed up. And it's just... Uh, Kind of like some green beans with some lamb meat and tomato sauce and spices. Throw it over some rice. It's going to be delicious. So that's that right there. That's going to be so good. And I'm going to have more of this <clears throat> because I'm so hungry and it's delicious. And then these are like pickled turnips. Guys, guys, let me tell you something. These right here. I don't want to spill. Life changing. <sighs> it's time to go home. Time to go home. Grant's Pass should be really nice. I think it's probably going to be in the 70s or so, but going to get on the road and get out of here, man. Let's go. I got home a little bit ago, and then I just unpacked real quick and went straight to get some groceries because I got to cook. I don't have any food for the week, but I'll just show you a couple things I got. I got some bread. I got some pasta, green beans and Brussels sprouts, some yams. I got some bacon, which I'm going to chop up, cook with these two right here, try some different some salami to go with this for extra calories, and then a couple pounds of chicken, which I'm gonna cook up. So I'll show you guys exactly what uh, what the final product ends up being. I don't know who listens to podcasts and whatnot, but guys, I highly recommend checking out um, Andy Frisella, the MF CEO project. And the episode I'm listening to right now is with Amanda Bucci. And if you don't know who Amanda Bucci is, learn yourself something and do some Googling's because uh, she's perfect. But anyway, I cooked up all the food, it looks good. I'm super hungry. I got some uh, some chicken right here. Just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, garlic powder. Um, a pack of this Super Greens pasta. Got that. Got a couple 
yams that I just threw in the oven, and then I got some green beans, Brussels sprouts cut in half, a little bit of olive oil, and then some bacon in there. So that's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna clean everything up, and then uh, have a meal real quick, because I'm starving. Got everything put away, cleaned up, I showered, got my stuff ready for tomorrow. Guys, I am so excited to crash, but I just wanted to talk to you super quick. Like, I was just sitting in the room, Trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to close this video. I have no idea. Most of the time I'll just like have something on my mind that I want to share or whatever, but I could not figure it out for the life of me. And I was like, should I just end the clip right there? I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't, should I just extend it another day? Maybe I'll have something else to say. And then I came out to get some water and I was like, you literally, you can't force it. You cannot force authenticity. You can't force like realness and, and truth and just like the raw factor, I guess, if you call this that. And so for me, like a lot of times when I, ha when I say something or, or I have a thought on my mind, it, that's there and it's brewing and, and, and I start thinking and I piece it together and I'll pick up the camera and I'll just kind of go off the dome kind of like I am now. But you just can't force like authenticity and, and realness. My shoulder hurts. And so for me, I am not trying to, I'm not saying things because I think people want to hear them or I'm not saying things because like, Certain things are trending, whatever it may be. Yeah, I have nothing. That's it. You can't force authenticity. I have nothing else. Just be yourself. Do what you gotta do. Say what you gotta say. Say what's on your mind. You know, that's it. It's simple. Don't overcomplicate it. There's so many things that are so simple in life. Don't overcomplicate it. That's gonna be the video, guys. I'm excited for bed. I'm gonna go crash. It was a great weekend, even though I was just in Klamath for a little over 24 hours. It was a good time. It's always nice. I love driving, getting out of town, and doing that, but it's nice to come back. Cook. Just get back in the swing of things. So that's gonna be the video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time